I give up. <laughs> so lesson two, five, five, 255. This day I choose to spend in perfect peace. Every day we have a choice. So I could sleep in, you know, for example, like I may have done today. I could be writing like two hours behind. Just, we'll just do a hypothetical situation here. I have the choice still to remain calm and peaceful or to completely freak out, get all upset, call myself worthless because I like, don't know how to get up in the morning, um, freak myself out that like, wow, it's going to be a really long day now if you want a paycheck. Like, you know, like I could really dive deep head first, first thing into all this chaos or I could just, it is what it is. I'm still going to be peaceful. Is that too easy of a choice? It does not seem to me that I can choose to have but peace today, right? When everything's going wrong, it kind of seems like you're forced into having all this other stuff that is not peaceful. It does not seem to me that I can choose to have but peace today. And yet, my God assures me that his son is like himself. Let me this day have faith in him who says I am God's son and let the peace I choose be mine today. Bear witness to the truth of what he says. Ha, here's the best part. God's son can have no cares and must remain forever in the peace of heaven. In his name, I give today to finding what my father wills for me, accepting it is mine and giving it to all my father's sons along with me. It's a whole other vibe. It's a whole different vibe. And so my father, would I pass this day with you? Your son has not forgotten you. The peace you gave him still is in his mind and it is there I choose to spend today. So <laughs> God's son obviously likes nine to 11 hours of sleep. And you know, he don't care. <laughs> You're going to be peaceful. Tina Jesus for lesson 255 said, be with what is. Just be with what is and be calm and be peaceful and go with the flow. And also let go of judgments. Let go of all needs and things in the future or the past. Let go, be calm, and be with what is. Your peace is being hidden by you. Your thoughts hide your peace. Your thoughts with the ego thought system hides your peace, and you have the choice and you have the ability to rise above the battleground. Even if you're in the middle of it, you can still rise above and be peaceful. Even if someone comes at you with conflict, or a confrontation, you can decide in that moment to choose peace. Decide. You can go vertical or you can go horizontal. Decide. You have a choice. You can stay on the horizontal battlefield or you can go vertical into God's peace. So dive deep vertically within yourself and find the still quiet place where your true self resides. Be with what is, be calm, and be at peace. So that's the, that is the goal, be, get vertical. Get out of bed, get out of the horizontal <laughs> resting field. <laughs> hey, if you need to sleep, you need to sleep. I'm not gonna interfere with my sleep ever. I turn into a grizzly bear, so what can I do today but be calm, be at peace, be okay with what is, understanding I have a choice. I totally have a choice. I totally have a choice. I do not have to get all crazy, distracted, thinking about the past, thinking about the future. That's hiding my peace. Those stressed out thoughts hide my peace. So I got to rise above essentially, and also dive deep at the same time, finding that quiet, still place, finding my true self, my true self. Um, <laughs> let me just have this one moment here. 
And it does not seem to me that I can choose to have but peace today. And yet my God assures me that his son is like himself. So God's son can have no cares and must remain forever in the peace of heaven. So how, why, if I'm God's son, why am I stressing about the future? And why am I so wrapped up in the past? That is completely ridiculous being God's son. So today, be at peace. Pathwaysoflight.org. Welcome to the reading, A Course in Miracles, Workbook, Lesson 255 Insights. This day I choose to spend in perfect peace. To spend the day in perfect peace seems out of reach. There seem to be so many temptations that disturb my peace during the day. And yet this lesson reminds me that perfect peace is God's will for me. If I am not experiencing perfect peace, I must be rejecting God's will and believing there is some other will that can oppose peace. I am accepting a God of conflict before the God of peace that is my creator. The question comes to mind, why would I do this? This choice is made with a desire for specialness. It is impossible to be different and unique and not have conflict. Differences are defined by conflict. What is the same cannot be seen as different, and what is different cannot be seen as the same. This world of images is defined by conflict. The shape of images is identified by the difference between the image and what is next to it. Peace is impossible in a world defined by conflict, differences. To know the peace of God, I must learn to look past differences, to see what is the same in all things. One of the first lessons in the workbook teaches us that God is in everything I see. God, love is everywhere. That is what is the same everywhere. As I learn to look past form, to see the face of Christ, the face of love in all things, I will spend the day in perfect peace. Perfect peace is found in the unity of love, not in the division of specialness. Today, I would practice bringing all thoughts of differences to the Holy Spirit for his perspective. I would open my mind to let him teach me how to spend the day in perfect peace. A key word for me in this lesson is the word choose. I choose to spend this day in perfect peace. Today I have the opportunity to spend each moment in perfect peace if I so choose. Today will I choose something else instead or will I choose to recognize the barriers to peace for what they are and with the help of the Holy Spirit, quietly let them go. The experience of peace happens in the now moment. It is not in the past or the future. Peace is always experienced now. Where would I live today? Am I willing to live in a state of peace? This is my practice now all through the day to consciously choose peace. Since peace and understanding always go together and are never found alone, when I choose peace, I am also choosing to be open to the understanding of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit helps me recognize the difference between what is real and what is unreal. The Holy Spirit reminds me that what is of God is real and nothing else is real. The Holy Spirit helps me see through the false images of the ego to the one truth that is always there. This understanding brings peace with it. This understanding helps me to not make the error real. The ego becomes strong is strife. Today I would practice letting go of the ego by remembering to choose peace. I would practice letting Peace lead me to a perfect understanding of what is eternally real. I would let peace lead me past insanity to the eternal truth 
that only love is real. This day I choose to spend in perfect peace. Today's lesson was a challenge for me. I had a situation that was blocking my peace. Well, everything worked out, and I am so glad that I used this problem as an opportunity to practice choosing peace. I think I am closer to choosing peace on a daily basis because I refused to give in to the ego this time. Applying this lesson today helped me make better choices this time. Pathwaysoflight.org So that's just it. You always have a choice. You can always choose to follow the ego thought system. You can always choose stress and conflict and all the bad things, the bad feelings that come with it. You certainly can. It's a choice. I chose to be petty today. It's a choice. I chose to have my head spin off my shoulders and bite somebody's face off today. It's always a choice. <laughs> and so is peace. Peace is a choice too. Love is a choice. Letting go of illusions is a choice. Walking away from conflict is a choice. Feeling okay with what is, is a choice. Listening to and handing things over to the Holy Spirit is a choice. So you really do have to decide. You really do have to ask for help. You really do have to hand things over. Please take this situation and show me how to feel peace in it. This day I choose to spend in perfect peace. This day, let the peace I choose be mine today bear witness to the truth of what he says. God's son can have no cares and must remain forever in the peace of heaven. So today, we're just going to be in peace. And we're going to line up our wills with our Father's will. And our Father wills happiness and peace for us. So it's very simple lesson. Yeah, the peace you gave him still is in his mind. And it is there I choose to spend today. I choose to spend this day in perfect peace. Let's see how we do with this one. <laughs> like, let's see how we do.